What's crack -a boys? It's your boy Caster, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make those fancy thumbnails you see everyone rocking with, alright? <laughs> I swear, every single video I get at least 10 comments, okay? Not, not exactly, but they're all asking me, how do I make the thumbnails? And I'm always like, well, it's pure black magic. <laughs> but no, if we're real in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make those fancy thumbnails and the secrets that the YouTubers are hiding from you. I also want to mention my Lunar Client slash Badline Cape giveaway is still going on. The tweet is on your screen and in the description. Please enter that. It's a free cape. Why wouldn't you? And uh, let's get right into the video. First thing you're going to need is Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, illegally download it. No one really cares. If the FBI asks, I did not say that. And so first things first, you want to get your original image in. The background image, I would say. Typically. <laughs> so now that I have this, I'm just going to add some sort of blur to this. You know, and gosh and blur. We're just not a little bit of a blur, not that much. Get a little like that, okay? And we're already making great progress. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be using this little template I gave you guys. I'm gonna put it in the description. You guys use every single font here. Um, I'm gonna link the font link in the description as long as these are little text effects. How do you use them? You pretty much just edit your text here and say like, "Hi, my name is Caster," and we just take that and we copy that and we paste it over here, and now it's copied. But we're not going to put my hi, my name is Caster for the video. I'm going to be making this video's thumbnail in <laughs> in this video. All right, so <clears throat> next thing I'm going to grab is this thing. We're going to put thumbnail. Oh, <laughs> let me put in all caps, thumbnail. Okay, we're going to grab both of these little texts here. Um, oops, we're going to pretend I didn't do that already. Okay, we're going to put them in the top corner, I feel like. That the top corner works the best. Okay, and yeah, boom. So now that you get the little text on there, you want to get an arrow, okay? Despite what everyone says about the arrow, it works, okay? So I don't really have much to point the arrow at, so I'm going to put the arrow at the fancy text because that's what people care about the most. And we're actually going to make these two bigger because they should be a little bigger. A lot of you guys don't actually know YouTube's traffic mainly comes from mobile. So really, a lot of the YouTube viewers need to be able to see your your uh, thumbnail from a long, from a long distance. So making it visible from about this distance should be good and yeah so now that the text is fairly big i want to do my uh, little overlays so included in this this is going to be the description i already said but i have some overlays that you guys can use that's these two right here so this is a little like white border that some people use I just copy this and paste it on um that's weird it didn't work we just grab this there we go paste it there we go <laughs> Okay, we just paste it right there, and now we have that. You can also use both, so I'm also gonna use I'm gonna use both of them. All right, I'm gonna paste the spikes overlay, and you just kind of gotta like fit it into the middle like that. And then you can also just put it behind your text so your stat your text works still, <laughs> so you can see it over it. Um, and then we just move that down. And basically, that's how you make one of the fancy thumbnails. Honestly, there's not much to it, but a lot of creativity will probably need to come into play. One last thing to make the text pop, I always use it, it also brings out a lot of colors, is I'm going to turn up the saturation by a good bit, okay? I'm not going to deep fry it, but I'm going to turn up the saturation a bit. So you want to go to layers, you want to go to, uh, you want to go to new adjustment layer, hue saturation, turn that on, and bring the hue up by a lot. You don't want to go too far, because otherwise you start getting these little, little weird colors, but to the point where the colors start to look nice. And yeah, it should pop a lot, and from a distance, it should be very clickable. <laughs> yep. And from that, I think I taught you guys how to make a thumbnail in under five minutes. <laughs> All right, boys. I hope you guys did enjoy. And uh, also, my Lunar Client Gape giveaway is still going on. And it's in the description. Enter that.